Assalamualaikum and have a good day everyone. In this video, we will learn subtopic 2.2 main organ for gases is chain from chapter 2 leaf structure and function. First of all, what is the necessity of gases exchange in plants? Plant needs to absorb light to synthesize their own food through photosynthesis. Plants need to go to exchange gases and the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the plant and the surrounding occur through stomata. So this is the structure of stomata. What is stomata? Stomata is a pore located on the lower epidermis of the leaf. It's guarded by a pair of gut cells. Gut cells contain chloroplasts to carry out photosynthesis. The gut cell will control the opening and closing of stomata by changing their shapes. Look at to the picture of the stomata and the gut cell will change their shape to open and close the stomata. Next, we will discuss about mechanism of stomata opening and closing. So, this is the structure when the stoma open, the gut cell becomes swollen and the stoma close, the gut cell becomes shrunken. The mechanism of stomata opening and closing depends on the condition of the gut cell, whether the deep of the seed. And the gut cell depends on the potassium ion uptake by the cell or the sucrose concentration in the sap cell of the gut cell. Let's we discuss about the uptake of potassium ion by gut cell and sucrose concentration in the gut cell. These two factors we control or influence the condition of gut cell when the dirty or fleshy. The accumulation of elimination of potassium in the gut cell we change the solute potential because the ion is a type of solute. This increase or decrease the water potential in the gut cell. The gut cell become either hypotonic or hypertonic. Water is diffused out or into the gut cell by osmosis, and this condition determine whether the gut cell are the gate of acid. And for the sucrose, during daytime or the presence of light, photosynthesis takes place and produce dissolved sugar in the form of sucrose. During night time or the absence of light, sugar in the gut cell convert into starch. Let's discuss more about the mechanism of opening stomata. Okay, they divide into two explanation: uptake of potassium and sucrose concentration. The potassium ion enter the gut cell. First of all, the potassium ion enter the gut cell. Okay, and then potassium ion the enter the gut cell. The solute potential in the gut cell increases because the potassium ion is uh, enter the gut cell. The water potential in the gut cell decrease. And then next, the water molecule from the epidermal cell diffuse into the gut cell by osmosis. Okay, and the gut cell become tergi and curve upwards. That's why the stomata open. At the same time, in the presence of light, photosynthesis occur. The concentration of sucrose in the gut cell become high. The water potential in the gut cell decreases. And water molecule from the epidermal cell diffuse into the gut cell by osmosis. This will make the gut cell become tergi and curve upwards and the stomata open. So this is the mechanism during opening of stomata. Next, we discuss more about the closing of stomata. Okay. First of all, eh, closing of stomata during uh, during absence of light or during night. 
the potassium ion move out from the gut cell. The solute potential in the gut cell decreases. The water potential in the gut cell increases. And the water molecule diffuse out from the gut cell to the epidermal cell by osmosis. The gut cell become fleshy and the stomata close. At the same time, in the absence of light, photosynthesis does not occur. So, the sucrose concentration in the gut cell become low. It will make the water potential in the gut cell increases. And the water molecule diffuse out from the gut cell into the epidermal cell by osmosis. And the gut cell become fleshy. The stoma will close. So this is the mechanism of closing of stomata. Next, the effect of water deficiency in plants on stomata opening and closing. Water from plants is lost in the form of water vapor to the surrounding through the stomata. When, what, when stoma open widely, the rate of water loss from the plant is high. The opening and closing of stomata is dependent on the tubal pressure of the gut cell. Okay. So let's discuss about what is the differences between fresh plant and wild plant. Okay, the condition of the stomata. First, when the plant obtain enough water, fresh plant will obtain enough water, so the gut cell become chunky. Because of the inner cell wall of the gut cell is thick and less elastic compared to outer. The thin and more elastic outer wall cause the gut cell to curve upwards and stomata open. Okay, the inner cell wall gut cell is thick and less elastic. Why? The outer cell wall are thin, more elastic. The, the differences between the cell wall make the gut cell will curve upwards and make the stomach open. When we plant, okay, the plant lack water. When the plant lack of, lack of water, the gut cell become fleshy because the thin and more elastic of the cell wall cause the cell wall to lose to lose turgidity and the stomata will close. With that, thank you.